I'm your sign, innit? What? You want to improve your life, right? I'm your sign, bruv. What? Oh, so... Oh, 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 I see, I see. So you think signs can't come in tall orders of chocolate wrapped in pink? No, I'm offended still. I'm offended. But it's what I have to give you. DJ Rexy. DJ Rexy. Back when I was the lantern in your eyes You drowned out the sound that kept me hypnotized Pause in the track is... Yo, 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 big up everyone locked inside your live and direct once again with the one and only. Yo, it's DJ Waxy and I'm back again with a brand new series, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm excited to start this series with you guys, you know, I'm not going to lie. This is something that I've been wanting to do, boy, for about a year still, I'm not even going to lie. It's been, it's been something I've thought about for about a year, but I've just, I've, I've held it off, I've held it off, I've held it off, but now we're finally doing it. So you guys probably told from the thumbnail. And from the title of the video, it's all about this book today. It's all about this book today. You know, y'all see that? Shh. You don't see that. Before we get into the book, though, obviously, I just want to give a quick like rundown on why I'm even starting to do these reviews because so obviously some of you have seen my reaction videos and you're wondering like, how's a man gone from DJing to reaction videos to book reviews? Like, what one for him? So basically, the reason why I wanted to begin with this series was because at the beginning of this year, I had a set, set goal for myself to read 10 books in it. I was like, I can read 10 books in a year. That's about what? Just under a book a month in it or something like that. But then I said to myself, you know what? Instead of 10 books, why don't I just do 12 books? Like, why, why even mess about with that? Just do one, one book a month. You can read a book in a month, right? That's possible. So I was like, I mean, 12 books a year. So I figured... I'd start doing that at the beginning of the year and I was doing well, you know, I got through about, I think I got through like three quarters of one book, but then I, I just fell off in it. Like, I'm not going to lie, procrastination got the better with me as it does, you know what I mean, the only human and um, it is what it is, isn't it? But now we're back and I feel like this um, series is going to help me fulfill that goal that I need to complete. And at the same time, second reason why I'm doing this um, series is at the same time, it's going to help other people gain more clarity you know what i mean more mental clarity about what they need to do in their life and at the same time it's also going to help me you know what i mean because i'm also reading these books myself i'm, a I'm actually reading these books what, what you guys are going to get is like a condensed review of the book but basically the videos i'm not wanting them to be too long because some of the books i'm going to be doing reviewing in this series they are going to be in-depth books you know so a lot of them are going to be self-development books you know spirituality books just um overall history books you know what i'm saying just things that i feel could help people you know what i'm saying things that i feel help me and you know i want to share my knowledge and my insight on it and then portray it back to you um another reason was obviously just to help diversify my audience as well obviously you guys know i do the dutch um i do the dutch versus uk drill reaction videos at the moment but like that only applies to a certain demographic of people which is great i'm glad you guys watch my videos thank you very much i really appreciate all the support and all the comments you guys leave me but obviously i want to like expand and obviously get to more a wider audience like at the moment most of my audience is obviously like 90 percent male i want to try appeal to some females as well and at the same time also appeal to a larger age range you know what i mean because at the end of the day when you've got good knowledge or when you've got something worth sharing anyone can benefit from it whether you're four or four hundred you know what i'm saying so that was my main thought process behind it um oh yeah finally my final reason for kind of doing it is um I feel like we're in that time now where like there's we're, we're in a we're in a space ever since covid happened we're in a space of like mass awakening to a degree like i've always thought this. i said to myself halfway through covid like i was like, like halfway through 2020 i was like you know what there's going to be a mass awakening soon and people are going to be more susceptible to this sort of information not saying that they weren't susceptible to it before they were but it's just that now it's a bit more prominent you know you're starting to see more of these sort of sorts of channels come out with this sort of content and obviously I'm, I'm into that stuff anyway like i've been into that stuff for like about 18 months or so you know i'm very new to it but at the same time i'm always learning i'm trying to develop myself and become better as a person so obviously i hope to like make that make myself become better and also help you become better and then you know, everyone just becomes better you know what i'm saying also before we get into today's video you know check the, check the trim though check the trim check the trim check check, check, check it check, check fresh things look 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 i still need to get the fade done but look 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 Looking saucy in it. Look at it. Gee, looking like a snap blood. Anyway, we're gonna get into today's video, you know what I'm saying? So obviously today's book, yeah. 
today's book and i'm going to try my best not to make this um video more than 30 minutes long if i can so you know i don't want it to be too i don't want to bore you guys also shout out to the squad you know what i mean we can't lose you know what i'm saying we ain't losing 2022 is going to be our year people you know what i'm saying we ain't fucking losing with that being said we got the book here so this this book it's called um it's called pineal gland a 360 analysis uh, it's a review on how to descale purify detoxify and activate the third eye it's by um, an author called evelyn schneider mark it's pretty funny that i'm doing a review on a book that is also a review because essentially she's this uh, evelyn schneider mark she's obviously gone and done her own research about the the um pineal gland and she's obviously done her own reviews for what's affected in her life and i'll be honest with you like, i read this book at least i probably read it for the first time about two years ago in it like before even covid happened like i read it like in like end of 2019 mid 2019 i read it but it was one of those books where like you because it's only about 110 pages you can see how thin it is yeah it's only about 100 pages yeah? it's one of those books that you can just come back to and reread over and over again and even though i've already read it and i feel like i've already got the message from it I still feel like there's more, you know what I mean? That's like, what I like about books. I've got loads of books, you know, that's what I like about books. Like there's always more. You can always go back and find something new. You know, like when you, when you watch a movie, yeah, you can watch a movie once, you can watch it twice, you can watch it maybe three times and you would have clocked everything in the movie. But with books, you can read a book like 20 times and you still probably wouldn't even get the message. And it's not because you're stupid or you don't understand it. It's just that, just the way books are. They're just some, and if it's a good book, that's just the way it is. Like, you know what I mean? You'll, you'll never fully grasp the concept of it the first time second time sometimes not even the fifth time sometimes it, you need someone to explain it to you to you sometimes you need someone to explain it to you like i'm kind of doing that like, not in like a patronizing way but in like a maybe you can't understand it from the book's perspective but from someone else speaking through a camera to you you can get it does that make sense because some people are like that you know what i mean some people they don't want to read things from a book but if you tell them in a video they'll rock with it you know what i'm saying like for example how many of us were told when we were younger save money save money save money did any of you do it? No. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, you see it on a video, someone on the video says, hey, save save money, make sure you save money. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start saving money. But when someone told you in real life, you didn't listen to them, you know what I mean? So sometimes you need that, that you need that filter in between. Sometimes you need someone that you don't know to tell you things that you already know, just so that you know that, yeah, there's someone else that I don't know who thinks the same thing. So I know I'm on the right path, you know what I'm saying? Well, obviously with that being said, um, we're, gonna get into this, we're gonna get into this book. Obviously I've, I've made my notes here. I wanted this to be as structured as possible. I really do not want to go over the 30 minute mark, but I do tend to go off on a tangent as you probably already know. Anyway, so we're going to start off with like page from pages eight to 28, right? So this is the way I did it is my notes here. Yeah. The way I did it is like, I literally just read the book. So as you can see, you guys can't actually see, but like I've actually had these notes written since January the 24th, like the beginning of this year. Cause like what I would do is I'd read parts of the book and then I'd drop down my notes. And when I did them, so obviously these are these are notes from like january times <clears throat> but um obviously as the book starts this year you go straight into the book so we've got we've got like what from pages 8 to 28 i noticed instantly 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 i will get into the pineal gland in a bit but instantly the book within within the first like literally the first 20 pages of the book it drops the gem about the fluoride fam and if you don't already know about fluoride I'm going to get into it in a little bit in this video, but if you don't already know about fluoride, it's very detrimental to your health and very detrimental to your pineal gland. And history lesson, it was actually used back in the day, you know, to, you know, make people a bit more submissive. But we'll get into that in a in a little bit. Um, the second thing, obviously, it just, in, in this first 20 pages of the book, obviously, you're going to, it's going to describe the pineal gland to you. It actually goes into a bit of a description of the pineal gland. That's it. Yeah. So we've got it right here. It says the pineal gland is also known under the following names you ready epiphysis epiphysis cerebri or glandular pinealis it looks similar in its form to the cone of the swiss stone pine it is very small in humans it is between 0.2 to 0.3 inches long and 0.1 to 0.2 inches wide weighing about 0.00 four ounces and if you're wondering where your where your pineal gland is up here but I mean, I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to show you like, a picture of the pineal gland instead so you can actually see what it looks like. So, essentially, here it is. If you guys can see this image here, this is essentially the pineal gland. That's where it is. It's, it's extremely small. You know, can I get it bigger? No? Full screen? 
No? Okay. Well, that's as big as it. Well, I'll, I'll zoom it in, don't worry. You guys can see it, do right? That's essentially where the pineal gland is, right? That's essentially where it's at, right? Obviously, another thing that I did notice is that obviously this pineal gland is extremely, extremely powerful in terms of. I don't want to say superpowers, but it gives you the ability to have way more intuition, be more in touch with your spiritual side, obviously have better relationships with people and also meet better people, you know what I mean, through activating it, you know what I mean? And obviously it's not just activating it, it's the actions that come with it, you know what I mean? Because you can't just activate it like that. It's it's a multitude of actions that you have to, you know what I mean, go through. I've not I've not activated mine yet. I don't feel I've activated mine yet, like not fully at least, like maybe partially. But I don't feel like I've fully activated my pineal gland yet. One thing that I did like as well on this in this book is that on page 20, it goes into the pineal gland on page 14 for those of you who want to know. But on page 20, there's a quote that I liked from it because I swear this 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 book should be dropping should be dropping gems everywhere, fam. So we got a quote here that I really liked. Alright, so we've got a quote from Dr. Swami. Who's ready for this? Ready for this name? Dr. Swami. Karmananda Saraswati. Ah, that is the most African name I've ever heard in my life. And I love it. That's sick. But this is the quote. He's ready, right? So, so this is this is a quote from that doctor, right? Dr. Swami Karmananda Saraswati, wrote in the Yoga magazine, volume 17, number three. It is clear that man is imprisoned in his mundane, everyday state of consciousness. He is locked up far more effectively than the prisoner who is incarcerated in chains or behind bars. Such a prisoner is only experiencing the, exp the such a prisoner is only experiencing the imprisonment of his body, and he is very aware of his condition. However, the human being is far more effectively bound and tied. His very consciousness is held prisoner. It is so effectively harnessed that he cannot even perceive the possibility of higher awareness and experience. The ropes which prevent his perception of a reality in which he is infinite seem to be the levels of serotonin within his own brain tissues. Again, serotonin a bit in the video, but that quote right there, it really resonated because I was thinking about even just this bit here, it's just, it is so effectively honest that you cannot even perce perceive the possibility of higher awareness and experience. How often is it we know people that are stuck in a situation where they just can't see past where they're at? Like I, like I know, I personally know a few men them that are like obviously doing their thing on the road and it's like, I've tried to explain to them, bro, like this isn't the way, like you need to do it this way. And they, they, they cannot, they just can't see past it. Like they can't see. And it's not, it's not even a, I would say obviously it's partially a pineal gland thing, but it is, it, it does come into common sense as well. But it's just like, how can you not see, you know, when you can see things so clearly, but someone else can't, it's like, how is it, how is it you're not getting it? Like, I'd, I'd, fam, but. Like I say, sometimes it's not enough for me to, like I said that at the beginning of the video, sometimes it's not enough for me to tell you, you know I mean? Sometimes it's not enough for me, for someone to tell you that you know you need to hear it from somebody else or you need to hear, you need to hear it from somebody who you don't know sometimes just to like reassure yourself that it's actually a real thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else we got? We got the, um, oh yeah, moving on to, moving on from, from that page, obviously moving on to page 28, right? So from page 28, to 46 obviously that was obviously everything i just discussed was from eight pages 8 to 28 obviously i'll leave little um tags and whatever in the in the description not in description i'll leave little markers on the video so you guys can just skip to whichever part of the video you want to skip to but from that was pages 8 to 28 then you got pages 28 to 46 now bear in mind this book is only 110 pages yeah and this video is already about 15 minutes long so i'm not trying to make it too long but I want to try to get through this as quickly as possible, but without trying to wash it. Obviously, we've got 28, page 28, it starts talking about certain certain substances, you know what I'm saying? Basically, it gives you a rundown on um, DMT and it's used in the meditation. For those of you who don't know what DMT is, I'm going to make sure I get this right. I have to make sure I get this right. All right. So the pineal gland produces this substance. So DMT is basically a hallucinogenic drug, natural drug, but it can also be purchased, obviously, if you know the right people but hallucinogen dmt basically the pineal gland produces this yeah it's a substance and it's called you ready dimethyltryptamine <laughs> bam. bam bam you ready for that dimethyltryptamine you know i can just imagine that's it now that's the game now that's the game fam that's the game which is better known 
as the abbreviated name DMT. That's it. That's the game now. Dimethyltryptamine, aka DMT. I could just like roll up on the honey and be like, hey, babes. <laughs> you know what DMT is? <laughs> Bro, DMT, what's that? Why don't you take a dimethyl trip to mine and find out? <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Oh my god, y'all ain't ready for me, bro. Y'all ain't ready. That was off the fly as well. I just spotted that. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy. Anyway, obviously it go obviously it talks about the substance of the DMT and how it's used in like um different rich different like uh, religious groups and stuff like that, you know. And it goes into like ay ayahuasca and all these other herbs and plants that can also be used to help obviously um expand your consciousness, help open your pineal gland. But I'll be real with you. You don't want to be buying DMT in it. You don't want to be, because you can't get it in like, obviously it's natural form, but you don't want to be doing that in it. You don't want to be doing that because obviously it can go left, trust me. Like, and, and I know a couple of people that, that took DMT themselves and um, yeah, safe to say that they're not in the same state of mind that they, that they were in before. Um, so basically they, they, they have these, um, what we got? What we got? I don't want to go too deep into it though. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to explain it to you guys. I don't want it to feel like it's just like a rush thing. But at the same time, I don't want to make this video mad long, innit? I might go to 40 minutes. I might make the video 40 minutes. Alright, fuck it. We're on, we're on about 20 minutes now. I'm making the video 40 minutes. So, we're going to a little bit into the DMT, yeah. So basically, this substance is also found in hallucinogenic plants like uh, Psychotria viridis, viridis? Psychotria viridis and is known for its intoxicating effect. The substance is made into a concoction from the leaves of the plant and the psychedelic working drug ayahuasca. And this plant, this ayahuasca plant, I hope I'm saying that right, ayahuasca plant, this plant obviously is found in Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Venezuela, South America basically. <laughs> Colombia, Ecuador, all these places, right? And then obviously you've got um it says here that the, the indigenous people of the Amazon basin use ayahuasca in rituals and religious ceremonies in order to obtain an out of body experience. So obviously you guys know about hallucinogens, you know, you've heard about LSD and DMT. That's the sort of thing that it is. But obviously it's like I say, you don't want to be doing it too often because you know what I mean? You guess how you end up like, I don't know. So you end up like Octavian, bro. Anyway, small amounts of DMT are dispersed together with other molecules whilst while dreaming you know what i mean so this is something that's already naturally in your body in it so you shouldn't really be like doing it like that but anyway because it comes out of your body naturally you just have to activate your eye you have to you just have to activate that pineal gland you know what i'm saying oh yes yeah, right so i made a note here <laughs> so i made a note here saying the pineal gland is basically the avatar right so the way i think about it yeah so you guys all seen the avatar right the last airbender right the, the, the kid with the tattoo right well, you know what's funny about him? I noticed, obviously, whenever he go, he's literally the bridge between the spirit world and the and the real world, right? Because for those of you who don't know, we are, we don't, we're not the only ones on this planet. We don't just share the planet with with animals. There's spirits on this planet too. There's a spirit world and there's a human world, and the, the spiritual world exists exactly as the human world is. Like if you look around, you can't see it, but it, it exists, right? Kind of like your brain, you can't see it, but you know it exists, right? So obviously, with this with avatar thing, I was just thinking it was interesting how like. A lot of these cartoons we used to watch when we were younger actually have like very strong meanings in actual real life and spirituality in itself, you know what I'm saying? And it's funny because I remember watching Avatar and whenever he used to go into like his um, meditative state, he'd obviously meditate and then like his, um, his arrows, his tattoos would start glowing up. And I noticed it's interesting because he had one tattoo that came on his arrow, his arrow tattoo and it came here and it stopped right here, which is where your pineal gland is. And I thought, ah, that's mad. Like they must have like, they've definitely obviously, they've, they obviously understood, I mean, the pineal gland and all that, you know what I mean? Because even, even for that to just be there, like right there, like it literally stopped. The arrow could go all the way down if it wanted to, but no, the arrow stops right here. Like literally where your third eye slash pineal gland is located so i just thought it was interesting so essentially in on your journey to activate your pineal gland you might end up becoming the avatar in it i'm just letting you know in it like obviously you might end up you might end up fire bending you know you might you might end up being able to like you know move the earth with your toes you know you might you might be able to end up just like dashing water at people you know I mean? obviously i'm joking about it. that might not happen but at the same time i just thought that was an interesting thing that i, I thought of it when i was reading it i was just like hmm it kind of reminds me of the avatar um 
And then obviously moving forward, it then goes into like what the third eye is. This is on page 32. It says, what is the third eye? And I'll obviously go into a quick, quick, quick um, brief defeat. I'll go into a quick brief description. There we go. Of what the third eye is. There we go. Get my words right. The pineal, what is the third eye? The pineal gland is known as the third eye as the seat of the soul or as the connection between the mind and the soul. If our third eye is open, we will be in a position to expand our consciousness. The desire to achieve sensitive perception is already within us. Do you hear? No, but you clock that line though. The desire to achieve sensitive perception is already within us. Do you get? That means, look, literally, we all desire knowledge and wisdom. We all want that, yeah? Everyone, especially when you're younger, you think you're so smart, you think you know everything because you want, you wish you had that knowledge and sometimes people fake it till they make it. But this is this is a real thing. Like this is this is all spiritual people. You have to understand that we're all spiritual. Whether or not you believe in spirits or not, whether or not you believe in the God and the devil, whether you believe in demons and angels or whatever, spirits exist whether you want to admit it or not. Right? We're spiritual, we're all spiritual, whether you whether you practice spirituality. And I'm not saying you're spiritual because you wear crystals or because you meditate. That doesn't make you spiritual. What makes you spiritual is the fact that you are an actual spirit yourself within your within your body. You know what I mean? This body is just a vessel when we die. We go wherever we go, you know what I mean? Our body, our body gets left behind and our soul lives on forever. You know what I'm saying? That's why people, that's why people really can't get, that's why people can't um, detach themselves from like music artists that have died, you know, like Michael Jackson and Prince. And even to this day, people still talk about these artists that have de died, but like, it's cause their soul still remains. You know what I'm saying? Their soul still remains either through their music or through things that they've put out there. You know what I'm saying? So whether or not you want to believe in this whole spirituality thing, you're part of it regardless you know what i'm saying so the desire to achieve sensitive perception is already within us it just needs to be awoken if we are able to do that we should be able to acquire the following qualities all right so these are the special powers you'll get right <laughs> now but obviously the person's strong intuition you know i mean strong intuition good knowledge of human nature for example recognizing lies increased mental skills for example concentration memory clarity uh strong ability to visualize that's an interesting one the strong ability to visualize because as a kid when you're a child do you remember how imaginative you were do you remember you just run out in the garden and just run about like a dickhead and just have bare fun like you just be like you just be able to visualize that shit like you just be able to yeah whatever like i'm playing i'm i'm, I'm playing with ben 10 or whatever i don't know whatever whatever you lot played with you know i, mean? I, I watch recess personally but like some people watch ben 10 you know what i mean some people watch other things some people watch fairly odd parents you know what i'm saying some people watch powerpuff girls whatever you watched in it just get your mojo jojo one and obviously just get with this poke with the pineal gland you know what i'm saying the point of the matter is yeah you can increase your mind as well and at the same time extra sensory perception extra sensory perception okay that's interesting in addition to this obviously the following spiritual areas will be activated with within the open eye with with the open eye so once you open your eye these are the sorts of things that you can expect to um excel in spiritually intuition inner guidance divine inspiration presence clarity clairvoyance imagination telepathy telepathy is a very interesting one because i'm not gonna lie i personally believe that thousands of years ago we didn't even use words i do believe we were we used to communicate just through minds like not and, and you know what it is you know what you know why it's hard for people to believe now because we're such in a state of we're, we're so far gone bro like i'm not gonna we're so far gone it's like it's like a human race we're so far gone bro like we're so far gone. like we've got all this technology now but we're still way behind. It's crazy, bro. Like, I mean, like, we're in terms of like actual connection with our spiritual self, we're so far gone. Like, we're far in technology, but we're behind in like spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Or like, just we we we're, we're out of touch. You know what I mean? We 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 we've traded spirituality for technology. Do you get me? And it's just it's all a bit crazy. But I do believe telepathy is something that does happen. And you know what it is? This is something that I can say has happened to me quite a few times in terms of like. In terms of like one of my boys, for example, one of my boys, shout out M in it, shout out my boy M, yeah. Sometimes we'll be chilling and literally I'll, I'll look at something and he'll be looking at something as well. And then I'll say something and he'll sit and he'll be like, bro, I was just about to say that shit. Like, honestly, like it happens all the time. Like, honestly, I swear. And it's not, he's not the only one I do it with. Like, there's other couple of people that I do it with, but it's only like, it's like, it's only a certain level of people I can do it with. Like, I don't know how to put it in a way that's not rude. Like, I'm not saying people I can't do it with are, are lower than me, but I just mean like, it's like, there's, there's, there's like a mental connection there. You know? There's a mental connection there between us. You know what I mean? And it's just, it happens 
way too often for it to be like a coincidence you know what i mean it can't and i'm sure some of you have had it as well i'm sure you you like you know either you finish your friend's sentences or maybe you you you, you thought of something and then your friend comes in the room and he says what you were thinking like things like that like it's not an accident you know what i mean these, these are all spiritual things bro you know what i mean that's why that's why when you're in a room full of creative positive people what does it make you creative and positive because their spiritual energy flows onto you when you're in a room full of negative unhappy people what do you become negative and unhappy because their spirits and their negative energy transfers onto you bro you know what i mean it all it all comes into play um and then what we got further on ah yeah but page 37 i wanted to flip to because they do they do they do they, 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 they then go into like obviously the symbols of the third eye in various cultures you know in hinduism in islam and blah 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 um obviously on page 37 it talks about the third eye being um this is the third eye in hinduism but today you can often find the the eye of shiva in jewelry designs meant to protect the wearer against evil and to give him wisdom with him or her wisdom and understanding both of the real world both of the world and his or her life experience and to aid positive transformation in india the third eye is symbolized by a red dot on the forehead so you remember back in the day when people used to take the piss out of indian people because i'm not gonna lie yeah I'm, i'll be real with you i went to a very multicultural school yeah but it was the most racist school ever bro like asians would 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 would, would, would dis blacks blacks would dis whites whites would dis blacks like everyone would just dis everyone yeah so it was like there was there was a few times that joke got thrown about about the red dot on the forehead by oh you know what I mean and it's like oh people say oh look like you're gonna get sniped it looks like it looks like someone's about to shoot you like all these sorts of jokes right and it's mad because like now looking back it's like I mean it's they were they were ahead <laughs> they were well ahead they, they 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 were in tune with their spirit they they you mean you you were you were making jokes about how it looks like they've got a sniper on their head but these times they were they were like spiritually in in contact they were they, they were intact you know what I mean so really and truly he was laughing you know what i'm saying but I, that was just something i noticed man that was just the funny thing i noticed about that and then we got um we got another we got another quote from dr swami that i um i found interesting in this book again we're about we're about halfway through the book so about 45 minutes 45 page 45 sorry 27 minutes in i don't know why i keep checking the clock i do I, do, I really don't want this video to be mad long because i know it will put people off and i know long videos put people off and i'm not trying to make this video extra long but i want you guys to understand how this video is kind of how, how the future videos are going to be it's literally going to be me like reading the book partially and then just giving my two cents and then just skipping to certain parts of the book that i think will be helpful to you do you know what i mean if that's if that makes sense but this one may end up being 45 minutes hopefully not well but we'll see what happens um so we got another dr swami quote obviously dr swami um again no, no again in, in the same article this, this was in the same article it says children so this is this is off the uh, title children children and the third eye so this is a quote from dr saraswati in fact many children quite <sighs> excuse me one sec <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. right. Okay, that's good. Okay. <clears throat> In fact, many children quite effortlessly possess many of the SIDIS? SIDIS? S I D D H I S? SIDIS? Siddhis? I don't know. May possess many of the because it's, it's in quotes as well. Many of the Siddhis or psychic powers associated with the awakening of the Anya chakra. Children are highly intuitive, which is what I mentioned earlier. Can see into the future or know what their parents are thinking. They are uncanny in their ability to see the reality behind appearances. So much so, it is very difficult to deceive or lie to a child. Again, I don't know how true that is because i don't really lie to children like now i mean like i got a niece and nephew i don't have kids myself but i've got a niece and nephew and like i've never tried to lie to them so i don't know if that's true but to be fair they are pretty smart so who knows but it, it, but it ties back to what i said earlier about how when you're younger you remember how you could literally just have endless hours of fun just i don't know with like one toy you know what i mean <laughs> but nowadays it's like you need so much stuff you need so now it's like it's so much different and now you need this and that you need a phone you need an ipad you need you need like four laptops like all to just like have a half decent time it's like we're so it's like we're so closed off from where we should truly should be like our idea of happiness is like completely skewed you know what i mean completely skewed um obviously moving forward into um what page have we got 
That obviously that that was from pages forty seven to no, that was pages twenty eight to forty six. So I tried to split into twenty twenty page segments in it. So um, now we're moving on to pages forty seven to sixty six. This 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 page obviously starts with um, the impairment of the pineal gland. It goes into what impairs it, and I'll just I'll just read this little paragraph right here. It says, "What impairs your pineal gland? Our modern way of life." allows our pineal gland to shrink and calcify. In the course of evolution, it has diminished appreciably. It has now shrunk, it has now shrunk from its original size of about 1.2 inches to only a few 0 0.2 inches. Bob, we, we, we've lost inches, Bob. We've lost inches. Guys, you man, you know, you know all the inches matter, Bob. You man know the inches matter. But it's crazy. To think that an organ in our body has shrunk over time due to our due due, due to our basically inactivity of it, because basically that's probably what it is. It's probably one of those things where like the pineal gland probably just in the in in people's minds over time was like, God, I'm not being used. I might as well just shrink and die. Like literally, that, that's probably what it thought. Like that's probably what it thought. The reason for this is that there is that we no longer follow our natural rhythm of life, and we are affected by many disturbing factors and toxins. Many external factors with which we are confronted allow our pineal glands to calcify and eventually close our third eye. Here's my favourite part of <laughs> the book. Page 40 to 48, the next, the next page. The biggest enemy of pineal gland, of the pineal gland is... Fluoride! Fluoride, that stuff you brush your teeth with, that stuff that the doctors say is good for you, what the dentist says is good for you, what the TV says is good for you, what Colgate said is good for you, what Aquafresh said is good for you, whatever other toothpaste brand said is good for you, it's bad for you, it's bad for you, bad for you. The reason why I'm singing, I'll let you know why I'm singing in a bit, but the biggest enemy of the pineal gland is fluoride. This increases the calcification and reduces the activity of the pineal gland. We are often confronted with fluoride in our daily lives. We find it in toothpaste products, table salt, or even dependent on the region where we live, also in drinking water. In German speaking countries such as Switzerland, Germany and Austria, it is not added to the water. In the USA, and I personally believe in the UK as well, um, drinking water is artificially enriched with fluoride. You see how they put? I mean, obviously, I know she's very, she's very like that, but uh, enriched. When you use the word enriched, you make it sound like it's a good thing. It should say artificially poisoned with fluoride because that's what, that's what it should say. It should say in the USA and the UK, drinking water is artificially poisoned with fluoride. That's what it is—a poison to your body, bro. What is fluoride? Fluoride was a. In fact, before I even go to what, what is fluoride, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick note. Who remembers that song by Kendrick Lamar called King Kunta? Bitch, where are you now walking? Now I'm on the game, got the whole world song. King Kunta, everybody wanna cut the legs off him. Boys got the yams. <laughs> anyway, but remember that song, yeah? Don't it, it, you remember the part in the song when it's like, something's in the water, something's in the water. What do you think it is in the water, bro? And then you know what the maddest thing, you know what the extension of that is? You know how mad the USA is? It makes me wonder, like, is the fluoride making people going mad? And then there's chemtrails too, and then there, oh boy, man, we can go, we can go on, we can go on. But the fluoride, there's something in the water, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, something in the water. And have you not noticed water tastes a bit different, bro? When you go to different countries, like obviously I know that's a given, cause obviously different pipelines. But have you not noticed, like, in, even in England though, like I swear, like the, the the tap water in London, no, not in London, no, 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 it is in London. Yeah, the tap water in London seems better than like up north like i don't know why that is like maybe you guys maybe obviously you lot some of you lot who live in london probably be like no it's whack in london and you probably think up north is better i live up north so i've had the tap water here when i go down to london and i have that oh, i don't but like if i if someone gave me a, a glass of tap water in london it would taste different it would taste marginally better than a tap water in nottingham but just don't drink tap water bro. and people think that i'm being bougie because i don't drink tap water people will like obviously I, I always have my own bottles of water anyway in it, but like sometimes you get caught lacking in it and you miss, you ain't got no bottles of water when you and like you're thirsty and you're at someone's house and maybe they don't know about fluoride. Maybe they don't care about fluoride. No, maybe they're just like, oh, it's just water. Maybe they don't care. Because obviously, oftentimes if you can't see there's an issue, you you think it's, you know, I mean, oh, well, it comes out of the tap nice and clear, but I'll be real with you. I've looked at water from the tap and bro, I can see shit floating in it. So... You know what I mean? I've seen shit floating in water in the, from the tap, so... 
You do your thing in it. What is fluoride? Fluoride. Okay, here's where it gets really fucking interesting. <laughs> here's where this book gets really interesting. Okay, what is fluoride? Fluoride was classified as a toxic agent until 1945, and it remains in our environment as a non-degradable poison. I'll read that again. Fluoride was classified as a toxic agent until 1945. It remains in our environment as a non-degradable poison. In 1936, the American Dental Association stated, at a concentration of one part per million, fluoride is as poisonous as arsenic or lead. <coughs> I'll let you not think about that one for a second. You lot can research this as well. Don't just believe everything that I'm saying out of this book. Like, I don't even believe this book, bro. Like, I mean, there's certain things I don't really agree with in this book, and I'll get into that. I'm just thinking this video is probably going to be an hour. I don't even care. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> um, what makes fluoride dangerous is that it collects in our bodies and leads to a slow toxification or calcification. The amount that we ingest daily is incalculable because it is added to our table salt and so it finds its way into almost every food stuff. It is hard to find a product in a supermarket which is free from it. So obviously the water is one thing, and I know this is gonna be a debate that people are gonna say, oh, well, if it's in the food, then I might as well just drink the water. You know, I say, you know, those dickhead people, oh, well, if it's in the food, then I might as well just drink it anyway. You know, there's always gonna be someone like that, like, <laughs> bro, I'm trying to help you become better. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you're saying, oh, well, if it's in the food anyway, then I might as well just drink the crap water. But do you not understand that reducing it can help you. you know I mean, if you know something, now that you know, okay, okay, I hear what you're saying, but now that you know that it's in the water and it's in the food, don't you think you should reduce at least one of them? I mean, just, I mean, even if it's in the food, don't you think, you, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, we all got to eat in it. I'm not saying we should just eat, I don't know, bread for the rest of our life, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you kind of got to find, you got to try to find a way. Like I said, this is a, this, this, this is a soul, this whole thing is a spiritual warfare thing. You know what I mean? You have to understand the reason why all these things are allowed to, to exist is because it is, it is a spiritual war we're actually living right now. You know what I mean? There's anything that makes you weaker. That's why the food's so terrible. That's why the water's so bad. You know what I mean? They're getting you with the water. They're getting you with the food. Um, later on in the book, I believe um, it does say something about how um it's in it's in the air as well or something I, I can't remember where where it was but i will find it if i can see it somewhere but anyway that was page 48 49 it goes into the fluoride oh, okay yeah all oh, right 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 here's part that i really wanted to read to you guys yeah all right again from the floor again we're, 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 we're so we're still talking about impairments of the pineal gland but we're still only talking about fluoride let me just check to make sure the camera's still recording all right, cool, cool. Because the camera stopped recording on me a minute ago. Okay, so anyway. Another quote. Well, not another quote, sorry. But it's part from the book, yeah? A fairly new study from Dr. Jennifer Luke of the University of Surrey in England has officially confirmed that the functionality of the pineal gland is strongly inhibited by fluoride. So, so for those of you who like to do the whole scientist thing, who only believe the science, there you go. There's the science, bro. If you didn't want to believe the science, if you didn't want to believe the spiritual side of it, there's the science, Bob. There you go. Those of you who like to, you know, oh, experts say, there you go. There you go. There you go. There's your expert right there. Fluoride inhibits your pineal gland. Don't tell me nothing, right? The high calcification of the body, especially recognizable in the pineal gland, inhibits the spirituality of humans because fluoride slowly but surely disconnects us from our free will. Clock that one. Clock that one. And then when I when I say this quote in a minute, everything's going to start making sense to you guys. All right? The high calcification of the body, I'll read it again. The high calcification of the body, especially recognizable in the pineal gland, inhibits the spirituality of humans because fluoride slowly but surely disconnects us from our free will. All I'm going to say here without putting, without putting too much emphasis on it, what happened in 2020 that was... Um, that, well, that, that some might say it was against our free will. And how many people went along with it? Anyway, anyway, moving on, moving on. In addition, it increases our willingness to accept and carry out the wishes of figures of authority without resistance. Again, I'll go back to my previous quote. This was already used in 1945 to do what? It was used in 1945 
to quieten prisoners of war in the German and Russian camps and make them submissive. Enough said, people. Also, uh, side note, man, them, if you got like a rowdy girlfriend, slip some fluoride, slip some fluoride in her water, she'll chill the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> don't do that, bro. Fluoride is dangerous. Don't do it. It's not worth it. If your girl's giving you stress, just leave her, bro. It's a lot easier. Trust me. Um, what we got next? What we got next? Okay. Yeah. Page, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Page 49. I got that page. There's a page 61 we need to go to. Page 61 in my notes. Again, honestly, guys, there's, there's gems all over the book, but like, obviously, like I said, I don't want to make this too long. And at the same time, I wanted to just, I, I literally wrote down the points that, as I was reading the book, the points that just jumped out at me. Because like I said, I've read this book like two or three times already. So when I've read it again for this video, I literally just dotted the points that just stood out to me straight away. So we've got page 61 here. It says activating the pineal gland, aka the third eye. Um... What are I going to? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So this obviously goes into the into the activation of it. Um, I'm trying to think what's an interesting part. I can actually read about this part that will actually help. I don't want to read the whole book for you lot. I want you guys to actually go get the book yourself, innit? Like, it costs like six pounds on Amazon or something like that. Like, I want you to go get the book yourself and actually read it. This is more like a quick... This is like a trailer, if anything. It's like This is like an extended trailer. <laughs> this, this is an extended... This video is an extended trailer for this book. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> Visually, now go buy the book, fam, you know what I'm saying? But, um, um, right now, okay, so she goes, in, then she goes into, she then, what was it, right? So from, from page 61 onwards, obviously, it goes into activating the pineal gland, how you can activate it. And then she discusses, like, what changed for her when she activated hers. Um, what, what have we got? Okay, so here's, here's some of the change. She said, okay, the changes did not come with the magnitude I had expected at the beginning. Things developed very slowly. I began to see everything more clearly and understand better. It is difficult to explain what I understand exactly. I know what she means though. I know what she, I, I get what she means though. I get what she, and this is what I meant about the clarity thing. It gives you clarity, but you don't understand what the, it's like, it gives you a sense of clarity, but you don't know what you're clear about, but you know you're clear about something. I can't explain it. It's like, you just know there's something wrong. You know, when you know something's wrong, but you don't know what it is, but you know there's something wrong. It's like when you forget something, but you can't remember what you forget, but you know you've forgotten something. You know what I mean? Like, you know there's something, there's something that you're missing, but, but you just don't know what it is. But I get I get where she's coming from when she says that, because I've even felt that, like, I begin to see everything more clearly, understand better. It is difficult to explain what I understand, though. I get that. It is much as if when I watch something, it makes sense. For example, I have never paid specific attention to the buildings in my neighbourhood. Today, I pass the shops and other buildings with a clear vision. Shout out JP and ob and absorb everything. I used to pa I used to pass by familiar objects without taking notice of them. When I look back, I seem to have been shrouded in a mist which had veiled my view. I mean, that's an interesting one because how often do you guys like just like walk about, walk down the street? And you don't really clock what's really around you and your surroundings. You're just like doing your thing you're not really focusing too much on like what's going on you just you know what i mean but she's saying when she activated her pineal gland everything became more perspective like everything but there was more more perspective to everything, everything she noticed every little detail and i've started noticing things like that a bit like when i'm out in the sun sometimes like if i go to the park on a hot day i'll just often be, i'll be looking at the trees and i'll just be like looking at the detail of the trees like i could just just see i could see into the detail of the tree like i can't explain it like you everything just seems more in in what's the word everything just seems more intense everything just seems more in detail everything, you just you just appreciate things more i guess i don't know i don't know i don't know. again like i say my pineal gland not fully activated i don't think it's fully over i'd say i'd say it's like maybe 20 percent, maybe 30 percent open but i don't know maybe some of you lot have got more more knowledge than me maybe you can maybe you think I've, I've, my pineal glands might like way more open than that me personally i think i've got a long way to go you know what i'm saying but Certain things I've started to notice. Um, and then we've got 68, page 68. What's on page 68? All right, so from page 67, it talks about methods of how to activate your pineal gland. Obviously, on page 68, it talks about your external factors, the external factors and internal factors. So obviously, the external factors would be like detoxing your body. You know, you can use them. Um, there's things you can use um, like healing clay. I've actually got some healing clay myself. I've got, I've got no, not healing clay. I've got green mineral clay. That's it. I've got green mineral clay. I've got um, Zia light. I take that, um, I take like a spoonful of it. It's like this grey powder. I take a spoonful of it every day with like a, a, a glass of water. Well, I mean, just, I just drink it. it I'm not going to lie. When you, when you put it in, 
when you put the powder in you put add the water it starts to like smoke up in it like it's a bit mad still but it just it looks when it's finished it looks like gray tap water i'm not gonna lie it looks like gray tap water but honestly it tastes like nothing it tastes like nothing it's just you just drink it and then that's it like um obviously avoid using fluoride as we mentioned before there's other there's other toxins as well also in your cosmetic products ladies 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 you know what i mean parabens aluminium you know what i mean and deodorants too you know what i'm saying man them you know what i mean these are the aluminium can obviously be aluminium can be found in deodorants today because obviously it's a it's a antiperspirant you know it helps you not sweat although i put on some deodorant today and i'm still sweating right now so i don't know what i want but anyway the um the aluminium is obviously not too good for you not good for your um pineal gland but you can get any you can get aluminium free um products and they're not too expensive um you can carry out bowel cleaning cleansing bowel cleansing you can ever get that that thing done what is it that thing where they put the tube up your bum now it sounds mad but they put the they put like the tube up the bum and like they wash out your insides and that you guys have heard of it you know what it is you can do that or you can do um fasting you can go on fasting that's why a lot of islam pe islamic people fast because they know the benefits of fasting fasting is very good for you it helps clear out your system um you can also take um something called uh chlorella algae it says here chlorella algae which i believe is a is it a type of, it's another type of powder let me just try to find it here for you guys chlorella chlorella algae yeah so it's like this green powder form here that you can see on the on the screen that's what chlorella algae is so you'll get again another one i think it's another one of those that you just either drink with water or you just bang it in your food you know what i mean i don't know however you want to do it um and it also says here um to help um to help activate it activate your pineal gland you want to adapt your nutrition to cover more alkaline products but yeah again i'm not going to go these are all like sub these are all like the titles and then it goes into like a little brief description i'm not going to obviously read the description because then this video would be mad long in it i'm not trying to make it too long it's already looking like it's going to be an hour even though i only wanted it to be half an hour but hey ho hopefully you guys can sit through it um yeah what we got next oh yeah the electromagnetic radiation boy yeah the electronic snog i mean that again these are you know i want to go into depth into these things bro, but like it's just it will be too long do you know what I, mean? I don't want the video to be too long like this first episode will be long because it's the first episode of the series but the next the, the following episodes will be 20 to 30 minutes and what i'll be doing is i'll just literally be going through like i'm doing now but instead once it gets to a 20 minute mark or 30 minute mark i'll be like okay that's enough for today do you know what i mean but because today's a long one Basically, because, because, because today is the first episode of the series, I'll make it a long one, in it? Like, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, it says try to stay away from household sugar as well. Replace it with, you know, natural sugar substitutes such as honey, agave, or that palm sugar syrup. You know what I'm saying? Or palm sugar, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the beer at one crew who know. <laughs> the palm sugar. Um, if possible, you want to try and um, expose yourself to sunlight at least 15 minutes a day this is interesting i will read this one so it says if possible expose yourself to sunlight for at least 15 minutes per day because sunlight activates the pineal gland and has a positive effect on your serotonin and melatonin levels your mood um, improves and it makes you more receptive to spirituality now this is funny because like, i noticed like you know whenever you go abroad like especially a hot country everyone seems so much like chilled and cool like everyone just seems a bit happier with life not not don't get me wrong not like overly happy like not like everyone's walking around like <laughs> no but like you, people just tend to be a bit more happier like even if they're poorer like my uh, like um my parents recently went to gambia in africa for those of you who don't know right and obviously it's extremely hot over there and, and obviously they're very poor over there but a lot of them they really really just love their they love their life they're just happy with life whereas opposed to over here we have people saying Fuck my life this i hate my life that you know everyone's just so like down you know what i mean and, and and the sun is a big part of that you know what i mean we don't get much sun here in the uk you know what i mean so it's a bit peak for us in it like we, we just we, if if you meet a positive person in the uk it's like a godsend blood because like how, bro, the, everyone's negative bro. like literally yo you go to london right now you just, just start walking around central london look how many pissed off people you see like everyone's pissed off bro. like even in knots like just walk around, not you just walk around, yeah. People just pissed off, like, wow, everyone's pissed off, blah, blah. I'm not saying you need to be going around, like, 
But it's just like, you know, you just notice like people have like a certain mentality about them. It's, uh, it's like, and I feel like it's because they're not getting enough exposure to sunlight. Because you know, it's when you go abroad as well, you're, you're mad happy, aren't you? You're mad happy. You know when you go abroad, you're in the sun. You're like, woo, hot girl summer. Woo, city boys up. Woo, Yo, you're loving life, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It's direct correlation, bro. Direct correlation. Uh, it says try maintain a regular sleeping pattern. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's effed up for me because I'm a DJ, bro. So my sleeping pattern is non-existent. You know, I sleep when I'm tired, bro. <laughs> that's when I sleep. <laughs> sleep when I'm tired, bro. Um, and then obviously you got some. Those are the external factors. Those are some of them. And then obviously you got internal factors too. One of them. Okay, so now we have arrived at the at the internal influences that have to do with your attitude and your thoughts, but are just as important. Sing as often as you can. The vibrations caused by singing stimulate the pineal gland. <laughs> Yo, I ain't got the vocals today. I ain't gonna lie, guys. My throat, my throat's like a bit gone today. You know what I mean? I was shouting too much this weekend, telling people to stop making uh, song requests. Crazy. Anyway, um, practice exploring the unknown and enjoying it. Basically, get out, get out of your comfort zone. Basically, these things are gonna help you. you know what I mean, me, even me doing YouTube, this fam. Do you not think I ever thought about doing? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I did think about doing this a few years ago. But do you think I thought I was gonna be here, bro? Like on YouTube, making videos? Really, me? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I, I am out of my comfort zone. I tell you guys, I am out of my comfort zone. I might seem pretty laid back and chilled on the camera, but trust me, I am out of my comfort zone. I have no idea what's about to happen next. Anyway, it says be artistically creative and enjoy being creative in everyday activities. I'm not going to lie. This is something I'd rather do, fam. Like, I'd rather just like be doing like, I'll be having a shower, yeah? And I'll just be like making up some new dance music in the shower. It's be a creative, fam. You know what I'm saying? Never stops, fam. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. What have we got next? Um... Oh, I do apologize. So we did, we did go into, we did go into, um, we, we actually went over in terms of like, we, we skipped a page. That was my, 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 my fault, my fault. So when we were talking about the detoxification of your body, so when we were talking about activating the pineal gland, that was like pages 47 to 66. Now we're talking about like detoxing your body. That's six, that's, this is pages 67 to 82. And everything I just read from you, for you, the, the, the internal and external factors, um, that was all from pages 73, 74, 72 and that. Um, obviously they say meditation is obviously another good external internal factor to help you open up your third eye. Now we've gone to, now we've gone to signs that your third eye is opening. This is on page 76. And this is a very interesting one. Signs that your third eye is opening. When your third eye begins to open, your personality will change. You will improve your social interaction. In time, you will understand your place in the universe and see your existence from a completely new perspective. I'm like halfway on this one. Like Jano, like I'm halfway on that one. In time, you will understand your place in the universe and see your existence from a completely new... See, now it's where I see my existence partially from a different perspective. For example, like I don't, I now don't just, I now don't just see myself as a DJ. You know I, mean? I don't just see myself as a DJ. I see myself as like a content creator. I see myself as a, as a. I don't want to use the word influencer, but at the same time, I feel like the word scholar would be too much. I don't feel like I'm a scholar. I don't feel like I'm. A, I, whatever the word is, when people listen to you, and then they they go off inspirational we'll guess so, i mean no i guess it is i just don't want to use the word influencer because when i think influencer all i can think about is the girl taking a picture like this that's why i don't want to use the word influencer you know what i'm saying but like you don't know what i mean i don't just see myself as a dj fam i see myself as like i, I guess a, a son i'm a spirit guide i don't know if i'm not a spirit guy but you, i'm trying to make this seem as, as as least corny as possible bro but the point is man don't just see myself as a dj i see myself as like you know uh, a, 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 a someone who can help people, you know, like a let's say teach them, whatever, a teacher or whatever it is, you know, not just not just a DJ, not just a teacher, not just this, not just that, no, I mean, not just not just a content creator on YouTube, not just a TikToker, not just a model, not just a guy who, you know, I mean, has beads in his hair. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's more of a like I, I have a bit of a more understanding of like I'm not just the DJ, you know, what I mean, there's more to it. But like the other side, I've not got that yet. In time, you will understand your play. I, that's one thing that I've not fully grasped yet. But I guess that will come in time. And then you will realize that we are the creators of our own reality. You will rely more and more on your own intuition and take steps to live up to your own potential. Okay. 
Say no more, say no more. Um, we're almost at the end, guys. We're almost at the end. We're almost at the end. Um, um, almost at the end. So, uh, we've got heading to page 82. Right, so from page 82 to 104, it basically just goes into meditation, yoga, and the third eye. Um, talks about the seven chakras, which I'm not going to go into right here. You guys can Google them. I'm not going to do that right now. You go, you guys can go into the seven chakras if you want to. Like, there's, there's no need me. I mean, are you... You know, you got phones, right? You're watching me on your phone, right? Shit. <laughs> she, she, she. You can go on Google and check them out. Um, strengthening the chakra of the eye, the third eye chakra. Um, they say the ways you can strengthen it, obviously you got you got stones, you know, you got you got the amethyst, sapphire, lolai, you know, all these different stones that you can use to help um activate your pineal gland. You've got aromas too. It says particular aromas aromas. <laughs> particular aromas stimulate the third eye chakra uh jasmine incense mint lemongrass and violet can strengthen your chakra um good aromas uh for burning are also sandalwood rosemary peppermint aloe wood mastic camphor camphor basil or juniper colors colors is an interesting one right so there's a little section here this is on page 95 right near the end of the book guys we've got like 10 pages left here so the different a different color is assigned to eat chakra the third eye chakra is paired with violet and indigo blue surround yourself with the color of the chakra then what you look at will be nourished and alive particular colors have a big influence on your system i like my home to be plain but i had added notes but i, but I have added notes of violet with a cushion or a picture in the hall so that my eye automatically absorbs the color you can often wear violet or indigo blue color blue clothes the colors do not suit me very well. I prefer subtle colors. But you know what's interesting about that? With the violet and indigo, yeah? Indigo blue. It's mad because like on Instagram, I noticed, and I got a note here about that. Yeah, it said on page nine. So it's inter interesting because on Instagram, they say, like the, they say like posts that have the color blue in it, they do better. Like they, they, they do like 40 or they do like 35 to 40% better in the algorithm. Like posts that have like a blue tint to them or like, just have blue in them like blue is i don't know blue is like that color that just seems to resonate with people the most like the most liked posts on instagram are like posts that have the color blue in them i don't know what it is but there's something about blue maybe it's connected to the chakras i don't know but i just thought it was an interesting thing that i noticed because i remember someone saying that to me i remember seeing it like in an article or something like yeah if, if you want because i remember obviously when when i'm i remember i remember trying to like grow well, well not trying to grow but i remember like when i was looking at different ways to grow on Instagram and one of the methods that someone said was um post more blue photos and I was like what and it was like yeah like apparently blue photos on Instagram if you post a blue photo like it either there's there's a color blue in it or the colors the sky is blue I don't know if you if you just post a blue photo on Instagram apparently it just gets more reach and more attention I don't know why but whatever in it um obviously your nutrition helps with your chakra and then meditating and other exercises you know what I mean so at the end of the book it goes into like from page 98 to about 102 it just goes into um what exercises you can use while you're meditating different sorts of meditating techniques to help you you know activate your pineal gland and then it goes into the brief conclusion at the end which obviously you guys are gonna have to read when you buy the book you know what i'm saying but yeah man that was basically the review man that was it like that was the first episode again I really do apologize that it's a long video because I didn't want to make it this long. I really didn't like when I was thinking about making this video last night, I was like, okay, we're going to write our notes down. We're going to do it in 30 minutes and we're going to get the fuck out of here. We're going to be in, we're going to be out and then we're going to get on with our day. But now it's obviously, it's, almost, it's looking like it's going to be about an hour video, which obviously I have to chop it up and do whatever I do. You know what I'm saying? But listen, that was the end of, the, of today's video. You know, that was um, the first episode and I hope you guys Look forward to the rest of the episode in this series. I'm looking forward to it because I'm going to get to read a lot more books. I think I might even end up doing one of those things. Because like, what I did with this book is I read it all the way through and then I reviewed it. But what I might do is I might read the books and then for like moving forward, I might read the books and then as I'm making notes, just make the video. So for example, let's say I get like 60 pages into a book. I might just make a video on those 60 pages. Does that make sense? And then the following 60 pages I read, I make a book, I make a video on that, you know what I mean? And so forth. So I'll probably just do it like that. Cause at least that way I'll constantly be reading the book. And then obviously, you know what I mean? It just helps. Anyway, so yeah, that was it. Obviously we out, you know what I mean? Make sure you um, like and subscribe to the video. You know what I mean? Comment down below what you thought of today's video. Let me know if you guys found this very, in um, what's the word? Influential? Influential and, you know, helpful, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah.
Um, obviously, link in the description below for the for the book and any other stuff that you may need to find out about. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. DJ Rexy. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from her lips. Took a little sip. Little sip.